Hello YouTube, welcome to this little kind of shorter video today. So you have to excuse the wind. I'm doing some lavender pruning, but we're gonna be doing some undercutting today and taking away some of the leggy stuff. So as you can see, this is the lavender and this is how leggy it's got. There's a brick wall under there somewhere. And if you have a look inside here, you can see what I mean. So I've just spoke to the customer. What I'm gonna do, we're gonna cut it away down here where these dead limbs are. And that will just kind of, if I just do that a minute, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna be cutting them away. But you see what I mean? If I cut away all this lower stuff, you're still gonna have the upper bit. So it's just a case of cutting it, but making it look as neat as possible. Because obviously you don't want it to look too woody and too tacky. So I'm gonna do my magic on this and see if we can make it look a little bit neater for the customer. I did do those ones there, which you saw on the YouTube shorts video the other day, but I'm gonna um, attempt to make this look somewhat better as well because it hasn't been done for years. Because it's so windy today, I'm just gonna whack a time-lapse on and put a bit of music on it. So you've got something nice to listen to, all right? So we've got Pebbles the Great Dane, and we've got Murphy over here just chilling. They're big boys, aren't ya? Big boys, big boys and girls. We cut the grass, we cut the trees, and work our butts off whilst watching for bees. The bugs and the nature are a part of the job. We are not So I decided to take a bit of a shortcut there with the um, battery powered hedge cutter. I mean, I like to do it the traditional way with the second tiers. I did 90% of that, which I had to do like the undercut with it. But when you're taking all those little spindly heads off, sometimes it is easier just to go along and go do 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 do, chop it off pick out the loose bits it doesn't do any damage i've done it to lavenders for years and they always come back it's just i prefer to do it the old school way with secateurs or shears or you know but there's no harm in using a hedge cutter it does speed up the process a little bit to be honest right just gonna enjoy the coffee then we'll finish off Right, that's the lavenders done. That's them nicely undercut. So all that overhang that we had sticking out here, I mean, you can see from the dirt just how far it was like growing out. It's ridiculous. You're starting to lose half your path. And basically what happens is if you don't prune your lavenders every year, that will eventually happen. They just get leggy, 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 and they keep growing out and then you lose half of your patio and half your path and whatever. So what we've done, nice cut, looks nice and neat, customer's happy with it taken all the heads off again secateurs and shears is preferable but if you do have a hedge cutter and it's quicker then just be very careful and gently lop it off i have used a hedge cutter in the past and it's always come back fine so it will look fine so it's all looking good all looking tidy there's loads more lavender down there to finish next week so that's fine <laughs> keeps us busy i suppose doesn't it but yeah that's this job for today and just remember if you're gonna do your lavenders get them done after september not before but september through to sort of you know october november if needs be just not before september but yeah what do you think looks better doesn't it right guys just like that we are done for the day it's only a short video but i hope you enjoyed it it was good fun i loved working on lavenders and as i say i think it looked really good customer was super happy but look wrapping it up if you've got any questions about anything i've been doing today with the lavenders or just gardening in general got any questions get them in below let me know we'll have a chat i love a chat with you guys if you like the video give it a big fat thumbs up and if you are new here please consider subscribing it'd be really good to have you guys tag along right see you on the next one take care look after yourself